Okay, I'm gonna try and make this video quick. Um, it's Arizona in the summer and it's hot because I just turned off all the fans and swamp coolers and everything. So we didn't have a lot of background noise. I'm gonna show you how this bender works and right now it's got the shuttle in it. So with the shuttle, the shuttle is a modification that allows you to bend lots and lots of parts consistently. And you'll see looking through there that my, my slots line up with the holes. So I've got some, some slots in these parts these parts are ones that I've shown earlier. So when I bend them, I need this to be consistent and I need, you know, the holes to all line up. So the shuttle is my method for doing that. And right now, everything's cold. I haven't done any bends today. And uh, the machine works much better um, when it's warmed up. Once the, once the bender and everything gets hot, then uh, you'll find everything's much more consistent. And right now I can touch it with my hands because it has not been run today. Um, so that's it, the part went on there. It's caught on my catch and I pull it back or bump it this way so that I'm sure I'm up against my stop. And we start applying some heat. And on cold parts, I can see when the titanium's starting to get hot because usually it sweats a little bit and I can see the sweat starting to, to cook off of it for lack of a better term. So I get it hot. It's taking up all the material from this end so it's this end I need to worry about getting hot. I switch from there and I get over here and I'm pointing the, pointing the heat at where the bend's happening. And again, everything's cold right now so I'm going slow. This happens much faster later on in the day. If you're bending 100 pocket clips, um, by the time you get to 10 or 15, that bend happens a whole lot faster. And this dwell doesn't take as long. I actually sit here and heat that until I see the titanium starting to glow and then hold it for a couple more seconds. And back we go. Now here's where the shuttle comes in handy. Right now, I wouldn't be able to get this part off if it wasn't for the shuttle. We'd try and knock it back and it would bump into the the pin and stuff that's on there. But with the shuttle, you can get the shuttle out of the way. And then uh, off comes the clip. So we've got our 180 degrees there. Pretty good. Um, if you want a little more tension, I come back by later and I heat that bend by hand. I just hold it over the torch and then push on that and you can close it up a little bit and adjust it. And you'll see our lines are good. Our, we line up in there, which is what we're after. If I didn't line up in there, um, I would adjust this stop. I could adjust that diameter. Um, you try and go smaller. I try and build the tools so that it, it allows me to shift things this way if I need to. Um, and that can all be adjusted. So we'll do another one here. So I'm going to try this. This is a new, a new design for me here. So I'm not sure what the best way to do these yet is it was much faster going the other way looks like drop them on on there and do that so i'm going to do two and see about how long it takes me to to do three. and you'll get a feel for this i could feel the the material getting tight and getting strong. So I slow down and apply more heat. Hold it for a couple seconds and let it cool. That seems to set that radius. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. I've got a little well, a relatively large hunk of aluminum there that I use as a, as a heat sink. I set those on. So this is going to go back on there. Back in place. I'm sure I'm up against my stop.
go. We're in business. We've got three pocket clips done, and and I explained it all in just that little short amount of time. Knock that out of the way. Off it comes. All still line up perfect. Everything's good. Now to do the the other bends. Um, let's see if I can do it all in one video. And then I won't have to do a lot of editing. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm just going to go grab another bender. Uh, so one of you guys is going to end up with this bender. That first one I'm going to keep. But this one here we'll use for a demo. Um, 